stop saying because this is how in the Passover, because you have three cups, and this is the third cup now, because after they have supped, and that way he said, the one who what? Sup with him is the one who will betray me. But you got to understand the Hebraic culture. This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do also as of, as he drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as he eat this bread, this matzah, and drink of this dam, this cup, he do show us the Lord's death till he come. Now when we read it, we just read it like that. And you know what? We take it away, we go outside and we what? We cussing one another. We have envy and evil in our heart. We watching people like if they are what? They were made by the devil. Who made all humankind? Who made the Muslim, the atheist, the agnostic, the Hindu, the Buddhist? Who made all mankind? Yahweh. And if he made all mankind, why did he make all mankind? For his good pleasure. pleasure. What's our responsibility? We, our responsibility is to take this what? Basar to the what? To the world. We shouldn't sit down and eat this basar with them unless they come to what? Yeah, to accept them as their what? As their bride. As they are his bride. You see, every time you're thinking about communion, think about a husband and a wife. Mm. Can I meet a woman just so and just go and lie down with her in her bed and sleep? I know in our culture, this is America. You can, yes, you can do that. You can do that. I can be working on my job. And I, a young woman like me and say, listen, no, no kind of connection, no kind of relationship. It's just a sex. And that's how we view this intimate moment in this culture. It's just what? It's just sex, no what? No attachments. No, here, here, and that is what our culture is actually breeding. This is why pedophile, all these things are becoming legal in our culture. Now watch what Paul just spoke about in Corinthians 5, right? Mm -hmm. Look at what he told them in Exodus to ready yourself, meaning you got to ready yourself. No, you got to clean out your house. You see, when you understand the, 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 the say that from the 11, you've got to clean your house. The wife's responsibility is, is to clean the house. We're well, not really. It, the man's responsibility, but the wife always clean the house. The wife also is given the, the greatest um, um, position is to light the candles. Who's the light of the world? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeshua Mashiach. It didn't come by man. It didn't come by, uh, by, by the authority of men, but it come by what? The birth of her. Woman womb, her seed shall bring redemption unto all mankind. A divine impregnation, not by the seed of men, nor by the will of men, but by the seed of a woman and the will of God. Yahweh. And look at woman. The woman now is lighting the menorah. The woman is the one who is perceived as what? Hakma. That of wisdom. That of the actual insight into what? Where we are. No. This is why women always have the proclivity to what? To the creator. To what's truth. This is why we as men ought to guard our wives. Guard our children. Guard our young women. Watch them. Teach them so that they are not tricked into what? Deceptions and lies in this culture. When they trick into lies and deception, what, what happened? They destroy their husband's body. They destroy. So now, hear what he says. But let no. I'm gonna go here. Wherefore? Oh yeah. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread, this bread, and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily, shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. So now, this dam and this basa. If we eat it and drink it unworthily, we shall be guilty of the Lord, right? The, 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 the word for wine is yain. Yain. And you know what yain mean? You know what yain mean? Who can tell me what yain mean? Yain means yain. 
Yod Yod Nun Yain. It means to press out. It means to press out. So you see now the wine in itself or the blood is under extreme pressure. We see he went in the what? Garden of Gethsemane and he sweat what? Blood of? Sweats of? Blood. So we see everything is so symbolic because the pressure that is placed on that, on that olive in order to produce the beautiful, sweet, nice, loving wine. This is why his first miracle was what? Turning the water into wine. Great significance in that. Another, another teaching. The matzah. The matzah. Matzah. What does the matzah mean? What does that word mean? To suck and to squeeze. So you see, you have the same sort of what? Relationship with the yain and the matzah. The matzah is to what? Suck and squeeze. To suck and squeeze. And when you're sucking and squeezing something, that means you're pulling. That means you're pulling and you're pressing. You're pulling and you're pressing. Because what, what, when, you, when, you, when, you, when you're baking or you're doing anything with, with dough, what you just do with it? You press it, right? To knead it. And in the Hebraic culture, for you to get wheat or the product of flour, you gotta go through ten processes. Ten. Ten processes. And these ten processes is very significant because everything in the Hebrew culture is significant is very symbolic. And look at something. What do you use in order to bring that bread or that dough into you use your hand? And your hand we know is an extension of your, your mind. And everything that is in the mind, the only way it can come into this world is through your Hand. What's the Hebrew word for hand? Yad. Yad. And Yad, when you look at it, Yad has the numerical value of how much? 14. This is 10. And this is 4. Is equal to what? 14. Now, how is that? Look at something. If you look at the points in your hand, there are three points in your finger. One, two, three, four. Three fours are 12, and there are two points on your thumb. 12 and 2 is 14. So even the name of the hand is significant with every point on your fingers. On your fingers. So now the, the word yad is showing that even your hands, even as it is now in the act of creation, it's allowing that which is in your mind come through what? The door. The door. The door. Because that which is here is in what? Invisible. Remember the yod is a what? Is a mind. Number is a number that is not, it is not a fix in what? In reality, because the yod, as we know, is the 10th letter and it's where? It's always in mid-air. It doesn't touch nothing above and it doesn't touch nothing on the earth. It's in the mid-air. So now that which is, that which is in the mind of the man must be brought into what? Reality through the door. And we know the door is where is a fix in the who? The woman. The woman. So you need them both. You know, that's for another time. But listen. This yain and this matzah, we see it's a press. And we could only press with something in reality and Christ went through the press he went through the pressure he went through the rejection he went through all the abuse of all mankind the Jews the rabbi the, the Sadducees the Pharisees all 
for they didn't understand what was written. For they only be, was focused on themselves and not in the word. This is why he said to them, you put more onus on that which you have written and not which has been passed on through the tradition of the teaching of Moshe and all the prophets. You now have now rewrite and reestablish your own laws and teachings. And now you're, 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 you're telling me them to follow you and they don't follow what? Torah. So now he is setting a precedent and hear what he's saying. You he must have come to, to close tonight for, the, for you guys. Hear what he's saying. Even as we partake of this matzah, this bread, this lahim, lahim, which is bread, and this dam. Know that Yeshua Mashiach, he came, he lived, he walked, and he bled as a man, a physical man like you and I. And that flesh, that bread that they ate on Passover, he said, now do this in remembrance of me. Do this in remembrance of me. So now every time we break this bread, we are not bringing to remembrance that he chose. He chose to be broken. The wave conversive is now broken for you, for all of us. He is broken for all mankind. The Hindu, the Muslim, the Buddhist. The atheist, the agnostic, 